All right, so we, um, we're we uh, insulating more pipes again today. So what we're doing is we're putting them on the pipes. This is three quarter inch schedule 40, these pipes are. So we got three quarter inch uh, insulation. And we're just running it through here, running it through here, right through here. See, it's all the way up against there. And I always like to turn it. I always like to turn it so you can't see that. So you can't see the thing. Um, I always like to turn it, you know, and you can't see that crack. So, right here like this, like that. And then, uh, well, let me cut this and then I'll run another piece. All right, so there's that. Now, we're gonna have to take this piece like this and do it like that. So let me get some tape here. So you run a piece and you gotta run tape uh, on it. Um, you gotta put tape on it. So with gloves, it's kinda hard, but anyway. So like this right here, these corners, I wanna curve it like this. Now I'm gonna wrap it, and I'm gonna pull it real good and tight. And I'm gonna hold it real tight as you're holding the line. That way you don't break the line. You don't wanna break the line. Now I gotta do the same thing over here on this side right here. So it's covering everything properly the way it should. Let's get a bigger piece here. Now. Now, look at that. Now, we're going to come and we're going to take here. We're going to pull it tight here. About every 18 inches is what I usually do. About every 18 inches. But you never, ever want to put... That's good right there. You never, ever say you put a piece on. You see that? You never... You always want this piece to the side or on top. You never want the gap, because you're always going to have a gap. Mm -hmm. You never want it on the bottom, because, the you know, uh, for the viewers. You always want that either facing out this way, that way, or on top. And, and since everybody can see, what I do is I do it like this. Like you can see that side, see you can't see my gap. Like now when I run it this way, my gap that you're going to see the crack is going to face this way. Nobody will be able to see it, and it's not pointing down. So that's how we'll do that. So we're going to run a piece here. So we'll run this piece here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, they say. I got my buddy Kevin. Awesome helper. Awesome helper. So we want to do it like that. Turn it. Make sure it goes all the way up there. Now I need to cut me a piece right here let it go from here to there this is the water spigot see here's the water thing I already had a piece cut so we want to put it right here and that's going to cover the water spigot then we need another piece from here to here so you just measure and then you just cut it ain't rocket science I mean it's so easy to insulate pipes so um like I said it, it, it's so easy to insulate the pipes so you take this piece, see the way I made it, I'm gonna have to put it right here like that. Now look at that, I tell you what, buddy, that's why I make the big bucks, because uh, I'm willing to crop her, and even yesterday, Kevin had to crop her, and even when I'm telling you, he and uh, I, I couldn't fit, and he's a lot younger and a lot more smaller than me, so he uh, literally, I mean, how, 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 uh, how, um, how much room did you have? Like this. It was like that on mm -hmm. that back corner. Like this. He crawled on the back side of a corner to where you had to do it. It was like this. He could, his back was rubbing on this. Show this. His back was rubbing this. 
That's how tall he is. And look at Kevin. Let me show you Kevin. Check out Kevin. I mean, look how little he is. He's so little and skinny. How much you weigh, Kev? 125. 125 pounds. And he, how tall are you? Five, five, five. Five, five. And I'm telling you, I, if it wasn't for him, I would have never fit underneath of that uh, that part of that house to do that. So see, we wrap this real good. And I like to wrap it where it butts together. Um, I always wrap it where it butts together. I mean, you don't have to. As long, and a lot of people say you don't even have to, ins uh, you don't have to use tape. But I like using tape um, because it, it just uh, pulls it together more and it covers more of the pipe, you know? So that's why I use tape. And that's why I do it real tight. So there we go, there's that. Let's put a piece here. And like I said, about every, uh, every about every foot to 18 inches is how I like to how I like to do it. I mean, you gotta be careful not to break the pipe. Now look at that. That's done right there. Now we're gonna come here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pull it tight, real tight. We're gonna keep coming down. We're gonna go ahead and put a piece right here. You got and you, you gotta lift up on it sometimes. But what Kevin, what I tell you about lifting up, mm -hmm. what I tell you about it. Do it too high. Yeah, don't lift it no more than an inch or so. Because you don't want to break your pipes. So uh we're gonna keep it going. I got a light out there, Kevin, somewhere. You got that light? Um yeah, let me see it light. Put some light on the subject. Everything battery powered, baby. Now, that way the viewers can see. We have this piece here. And then we're gonna run, look at it laying right on the ground. I had seven properties that busted. Uh, uh, two or three of them was at the water spigot because the water spigot's the uh, pipe stuck out like maybe uh, six inches and it busted right there. Then I had uh, two or three or four of them that busted underneath the house. Well, no wonder, because all the pipes are up underneath with the laying on the cold ground. Yeah, they're gonna bust. So uh, we got one more. We had 39 homes on this. I take care of 39 properties, right? And 39 mobile homes and single wides is on this property. And it's took me and him three days to do 39 of them. Uh, what, two of them had uh, insulation well done. So 37 properties. We ended up um, having to do 37 of them, insulating 37 of them, and we've done it in three days. And some of them, it varied. Some of them just took like, uh, you know, uh, two pieces. Some took four and five. Some took seven. We had one yesterday, I think it was like 10 pieces. It took like 10 eight foot long pieces. So it just varies, you know? Like the one we just done right before we come here actually took uh, uh, eight pieces. And um, today, what's the most, that's the most we put on today, and it was eight pieces. Uh, eight and a half, I think, it was, yeah, it was eight and a half. Um, so, but this is how you do it. And uh, like I said, you never want to put that slit because even though this is taped and you see how tight that I'm pulling that. Can you show me this side, Kevin? Show me this side. The side right here. Show him the side. Can you show him the side? Look here. You see it? See that side? See? You're still going to have it. See where I pull it together? It closes it some. But you're still going to have a gap. But you never want the gap to face on the ground because cold air is on the ground, it raises up. And it looks better when somebody looks in here and they don't see that on top. So I, I hide it, that way when you look underneath the trailer, it looks nice and neat. You don't see no gap or no crack or anything. But uh, yeah, we gotta go all the way down through there. I got about one more piece to put on and then we'll be done. But uh, all right, Kevin, listen guys, until next time, um, my name's Junior, JC Painting and Pressure Washing LLC. Uh, I do um, handyman uh, services as well. I do electrical, plumbing, insulation. Uh, I run uh, plum uh, you know, plumbing. I can install sinks. I can install flooring. 
I, I, I fix roofs. I can, uh, you know, patch roofs, put shingles on. I can't do a whole roof, but I hang sheetrock. I do it all. Call uh, JC Painting and Pressure Washing at uh, 864 324 9346. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you. All right, kids.